Hello there, Mega Maniacs. It's Mr. Mega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know all the things to do. It's mail call time, and there's quite a bit here, so just gonna go ahead and get started. Had some bad luck with some non working Dreamcast games that I bought online, so hoping for better results with this one. Monaco Grand Prix but it looks to be in nice shape and it was well packaged. I don't see any scratches there, so this one will probably be all right, but I'll find out soon enough. Okay, it's one down and many, many more to go. Incidentally, I apologize if you can hear the air conditioning, but it's really hot and it's impossible to stop filming and start again because it's going to just keep going on and off no matter what I do. So, you and I are both just going to have to live with it because there's no way to stop it running during the summer. What a bummer. Here we have Roadkill for GameCube. Very nice looking box. Very nice looking instructions and the disc also appears to be good so i think this one will be okay as well set that to the side and continue on see what else we've got here probably another gamecube game since i picked up a bunch of those I've been trying to shop for GameCube locally, but it's increasingly hard to do with the few games I need left. And that manual's not perfect, but this is kind of a hard to get game, so just getting it complete in the box was a goal, even if the manual isn't perfect. There were a lot of copies that didn't even have a manual, so sometimes you make a trade-off where you have to, just to get something that's complete. And if it's not perfect, then at least you know somebody used it. It wasn't just shelf candy, it actually got played. I'd rather a game be used than mint. I'm kind of weird like that. Here we have Super Monkey Ball Adventure. I was kind of surprised to find there was a GameCube Super Monkey Ball game that I didn't have and also a little disappointed that that disc was loose, but it appears to be all right. And the manual is nice looking. So one more Super Monkey Ball game. Thought I had them all, but as it turns out, I did not. I suspect this will be another GameCube game just based on the size and shape. What do you think? Why yes. Yes it is. This one is Scalar. The Shape Shifting Chameleon. Why is cracking? Bobby Jenkins has stumbled upon a plot to use his next door neighbor's mutant lizard army to destroy the world. Bobby is transformed into his shape shifting alter ego, Scalar. Seems like the premise for a Saturday morning cartoon more than a video game. Maybe they had such ambitions. Maybe they thought this was going to be the next big thing don't think their ambitions were met by results or this wouldn't be such a hard to find game. Glad that I finally have it. Hmm. This one might be a little harder to open. 
or it might not. I can actually just tear it. And we have Hot Wheels Velocity X. Make sure it's complete in the packaging here. Ah, all this stuff is sticking to me now. Be gone. Yes. And the disc looks pretty good. Add that to the GameCube pile over here. And let's see what we got in this one. What do you know? Another GameCube game. Relish Rampage. I had played this a little before using the SD card memory card trick to read from the PC to SIO port or what is it? Memory card to SIO port. There are different names on each system. But yeah, this one some of the features didn't run correctly through booting off Swiss, so I'm glad to have a physical edition because I assume it will perform better. And almost assuredly another GameCube game. Lost Kingdoms 2. Now this one doesn't have a manual, but I won it on a last second bid. And I think I can live with it not having the manual because it's not like I can't look up a playthrough online. It does at least include the precautions booklet. Kind of strange that it has one and not the other. And Lost Kingdoms 2 is one of those upper tier ones. So to have it even in a box and a nice looking disc and the box itself is very nice. I'm happy with that. Moving on to this very brightly purple colored package. Makes me think of Spyro, even though it's not going to be a Spyro game when I open it. It's going to be a Tom and Jerry game. War of the Whiskers. Are you ready to kick some butt? Sure, why not? Let's see how this one looks. Pretty good, I'd say. I'll have to test all of these to be sure, but it is complete. Another one that I've been looking for locally and not having much luck finding. I mean, that's the case of pretty much every GameCube game you're gonna see in this video. At least the AC went off for the moment. It'll be back on soon enough, trust me. It's hot today. Come on, come out of there. Conflict Desert Storm 2. Back to Baghdad.
complete and very nice condition. Got just a couple more things to go here. Let's do this smaller one first. Because I think this is a couple of books from my friend SS. So if you're watching, buddy, thank you. Appreciate it. I even told him I would pay him for the shipping, and he said, no, it's on me. So that is super awesome, dude. I appreciate you so much. Hope you and your family are doing very well. And hopefully I will get to see you again for too long. Need to make a road trip out east again at some point. A novelization of Shada, which is a very cool episode of Doctor Who that was not finished thanks to a publisher's, or pardon me, uh, was it a writer's strike or an actor's strike? There was a strike at the BBC at the time. And so they didn't finish filming it. It's been made into DVD with uh, the footage that they had left and some stuff filling in the gaps. And a section of it was also used for the five doctors for the part of the episode where the fourth doctor gets trapped in a space-time bubble. They used footage from Shada. So, very cool. SS, you are awesome. And the other book that I knew he promised me... He said he accidentally bought this twice. He had a copy, thought he lost it, bought it again. Then when he found the second one, he was inspired to send it to me because he knows how much of an Atari aficionado I am. We met through the Atari Age website. It's where we first got to know each other, and then we met each other in person at conventions, and the friendship grew from there, so awesome that he thought of me to share that book with. I am very grateful to him. That just leaves one package to go. This big one right here. I suspect from the size that it's probably... Atari Jaguar related because it wouldn't have needed such a big box for anything smaller than that. And I'd be right. These are box insert trays for Atari Jaguar games so I can add trays to the ones that no longer have them. And like I said before, the AC is just going to keep running, so wouldn't you know, it kicked on again right at the end of this video. I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan. Thanks for watching.